Nice launch trajectory countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning, everyone. My name is Atticus Videra, and I'm a propulsion engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, set to lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida, on board the Falcon 9 rocket that you see there on your screen. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 43rd launch of the year and 242nd Falcon 9 mission to date. And for today's mission, we will be sending 56 of our Starlink satellites into a low Earth orbit. Here in the United States, we dedicate the month of June to honor and acknowledge the LGBTQ community. Earlier this month, SpaceX marched in the LA Pride Parade and had the honor of creating a float to help celebrate Pride Month. The Los Angeles Pride Parade is widely known as one of the oldest and largest LGBTQ Pride celebrations in the country. Drawing over 150,000 spectators and supporters in Hollywood, about 100 SpaceX employees marched alongside the SpaceX float this year. At SpaceX, we believe that in order to achieve our extraordinary goals of making humanity multi-planetary, we need employees from diverse backgrounds... Tanks are pressing for strong back retract. ...from diverse backgrounds with different perspectives and mindsets. Back to the launch at T minus four minutes and 48 seconds, our teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or the spacecraft. The range is ready to support a T0 of 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time. As for weather, we are currently looking at a 75% chance of launching this morning. In a few seconds, we should see those clamp arms. Strong back has started. Just heard the strong back is beginning to retract. We can see those clamp arms are separating away from the vehicle. The strong back, also called the transporter erector, or TE is how we break over the vehicle from its horizontal to vertical position, and it's also how we route electrical connections and propellant to the vehicle before liftoff. You can see those clamp arms just below the fairing have now retracted. And there's that strong back leaning away from the vehicle to clear the way for Falcon 9's ascent. And coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed its liquid oxygen loading. Stage one lock float is complete. At T minus three minutes, Falcon 9's first stage is now fully loaded with RP1 and locks. We're just awaiting completion of liquid oxygen loading on the second stage, which should wrap up in around 50 seconds. If you didn't know, we do use two types of propellant on the Falcon 9. RP1, which stands for Rocket Propellant 1, is a rocket grade kerosene, and LOX, which stands for liquid oxygen. You can probably see those white clouds coming out of the side of the booster, and that's some gas above the LOX tank venting out to maintain pressure inside of the tanks. Again, should be wrapping up liquid oxygen loading on the second stage in around 20 seconds.
Phase two lock load is complete. And with that, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of liquid oxygen and fuel. The first stage or booster that's supporting the mission today is flying for its eighth time, previously having supported CRS-24, Eutelsat Hot Eutelsat Hotbird 13F, OneWeb-1, SES-18 and SES-19, and three Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, which you see there on your screen. And coming up next, we should hear that Falcon 9 is in startup at T-minus one minute. And this is when the flight computers take over the launch countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. Just heard that the Falcon 9 flight computers have taken over control of the countdown and the rocket is now on internal power. In a few seconds, we should hear our final go for launch from the launch director. Go for launch. And there you have it, folks. The launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Stage 1 propulsion is alpha. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We just heard that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Just about, chill has started. We're now just about one minute away from a series of events. Those are MECO, stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages will separate from each other. And SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Following those events is fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves will separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events coming up shortly. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. There we go, folks. We just had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and MBAC startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that are flying on today's mission are flight proven. One half is flying for the seventh time today, and the other is flying for the tenth time. For those of you following along, this is actually the first tenth flight of a fairing half, and we will be attempting to recover 
both of those halves on our recovery vessel, Bob. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right is the MBAC engine on our second stage, carrying the Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. You can see the speed of the first stage is decreasing as it reaches the apogee of its trajectory, while the second stage continues to accelerate towards orbit. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Great news there. Stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. The first stage currently on its way back down towards Earth, heading for a landing on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. MBAC is continuing its burn, which should last another four and a half minutes or so. For those of you just joining us, we did have an on-time liftoff at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 43rd launch of the year and 242nd Falcon 9 mission to date. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Good news there, both vehicles continuing to follow a nominal trajectory. You can see the first stage is now accelerating down towards Earth. And the MBAC engine continuing to accelerate our satellites into orbit. The 56 satellites on today's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. On the left side of your screen, you can see those titanium grid fins on the first stage. Those measure about four by five feet, and they are the primary mechanism that we use to control the booster Both during, stages on a nominal trajectory. during its descent. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. You just heard we started up the entry burn on stage one, which we also sometimes refer to as the booster. The booster has now ignited engines 1, 5, and 9, and this is to slow it down for atmospheric Stage re-entry. Stage 2, FTS is saved. Stage 1, entry burn shut down. Great news there. We just completed the entry burn on the first stage. The first stage used to launch our 56 Starlink satellites to space is flying for its eighth time today. And we do have one more burn on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and that should be coming up in just around one minute. The landing burn is when we will light the center E9 engine, and that will slow us down for a soft landing on our drone ship. Both vehicles following a nominal trajectory. Stage one transonic. There's the call out for first stage is transonic. This means we are transitioning from a supersonic to a subsonic speed. Coming up next is that landing burn. Should be starting up the landing burn in around 20 seconds. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. 
There's that confirmation that stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Keep an eye out for those landing legs that are scheduled to deploy just moments before landing. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there we go. Falcon 9 has successfully landed, marking the eighth Second landing. The signal. Cape. Marking the eighth landing for this booster. We're now just awaiting second engine cutoff coming up in a few seconds. MVAC shut down. There we go. We did just successfully shut down the MVAC engine. Nominal park orbit insertion. Great news there for a nominal orbital insertion. So with a confirmation of successful first stage landing, second engine cutoff, and a nominal orbit, that is going to wrap up our coverage for today. Today's landing marks our 203rd overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And this is also our 242nd Falcon 9 mission to date. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thank you all for joining us, and we will see you next time.